if I have the right side of my work facing me and I don't want to turn to purl back, which is what I would be doing now. I would be turning and purling back. And I, I've just decided I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm going to become efficient working from left to right and actually purling with the knit side facing me. And so to figure out how to do that, I insert my needle like I'm going to purl and I wrap the yarn around. Then I just turn it towards me and I assess what I just did. So the yarn wraps around the needle like that. It comes from the back to the front. And this needle, the left needle, is now my working needle, not my right. And this is what makes it feel a little cumbersome at first. And I know we don't, don't like to give up our efficiency, but it's well worth it. It's well worth it in the end because it doesn't take long to get good at it. So this left-hand needle comes into the back leg of the stitch on the needle, and the yarn wraps around from back to front. And you just have to practice it. If you do one little project, a pair of socks, you're going to be pretty efficient at... Um, at this way of working and it'll save you a lot of time. So again, the needle goes into the back and you wrap your yarn from back to front. And it's, it's really worth it because when I'm doing uh, a big piece like a sweater, the sweater is usually one whole piece. And so if I'm doing the cuff or some little thing on the hem, I'm turning the whole sweater in my lap, which for two stitches is a lot of turning. And so it's, it makes you a, a more versatile, well-rounded knitter. And, and it's, it's really worth it. You'll be a really happy knitter if you learn to do this. So if the purl side is facing me and I want to knit back, all I have to do is turn the work and insert my needle like I'm going to knit and wrap the yarn around. And then I assess it just like I did before. So it comes around the needle like that. And this needle comes through the back loop. The left needle, which is now the working needle, comes through the back loop. And this goes from front to back. And I use my thumb because it's actually the closest digit to this needle. So it works out really well. Now I'm, I throw, I don't pick, a really easy way to do this. A lot of them just grab it, you know, with this finger. So anyway, that's um, knitting from the purl side and purling from the knit side and it's well worth giving it a shot.